So I'm delighted to be here. Thank you, Jill, for the invitation. And uh, I uh, love the title Jill came up with this session. Uh, can a wearable, a smartwatch, the watch, save lives? I like it, I love it, because as a physician, entrepreneur in healthcare IT, that's all I am about, to make a difference in the life of many and eventually saving lives. But Jill, I love this title for one more reason, because you, one more time I can tell my mother, you were right. Um, when, as a physician, I decided to leave the field of medicine, academia, research, where um, supposedly I, I had a successful professional career ahead of me and I told my mom that I was becoming a healthcare IT entrepreneur because I could make a difference on a much larger scale, I was not that convincing. Even if our applications are used today by millions around the world, I have, not, I have not yet quite convinced my mom. And three years ago, my mom called me from France and said, Bettina, uh, did you hear that Apple is coming with this watch which is going to do wonders in healthcare? Don't you think you should embrace that technology? So mom was right, <laughs> indeed. And we tapped on the power of the watch. Uh, the watch is less than a year old. It came up in April last year. And uh, the vision of that watch is to embed multiple sensors. Uh, we are not quite yet there. The watch cannot measure your blood pressure. The watch cannot yet uh, do an EKG reading or measure your blood glucose, your oxygen level in your blood or your hydration. But what the watch can do today can be life-saving and we tapped on the power the watch is offering developers to make a difference in healthcare. The accelerometer, the GPS, which is not on board the watch, but which uh, can tap the GPS on board of the nearby phone, um, or the heart rate monitor can be indeed extremely useful in healthcare. And even this simple function as the haptic alert, you know, that uh, subtle uh, tap on your wrist you get, or this uh, soft ding um, you get right there on your wrist to alert you that it's time to take your medication, it's time to measure your blood pressure on that schedule as determined with your physician, it's time to remind you that you should get up and stand and not sit for any longer. In fact, as a former epidemiologist, um, it has been shown that moving is one of the most effective interventions you can take and you can prescribe to your patients to avoid the progression of chronic disease. So this uh, time to stand on the watch is life-saving indeed. So we developed at Umetrix an app which was launched last year called Tansio, which capitalized on all this uh, power of the watch. We pick up the heart rate monitor, but we kept uh, other self-monitoring data like a blood pressure digital cuff through the health kit uh, within the health app of the nearby phone. And we gen gently send those reminders, time to measure that blood pressure, time to monitor, to uh, get up and increase your activity level, which is too low to maintain that blood pressure under control. Uh, other like seize alarm, let people with epilepsy uh, be warned that an upcoming seizure is about uh, to strike them and so they can take corrective action on the spot, take a seat and avoid a deadly fall or let people in their environment of what is about to happen. And then last with the new version of the OS on board the watch, the 2.0, we were able to tap on a new function of the watch we were able to tap on the GPS function in connecting with a nearby phone without depleting the battery power, power of either device. And um, back to my mom, when she's in her 80s, by, by the way, she lives alone in France in the Alps, very independent, and when I try at a distance to have her adopt a personal alert response system, she said, no way, I don't want to be stigmatized with this, and I am on the go all the time, this device, I have to subscribe, but the high cost is not for me. So we made it work for mom as well. So this personal alert system is now on the watch. It's a red button, tap it, and you send your GPS coordinates to your uh, emergency contact. And then also this uh, app is uh, attached to um, a QR code personal to you, which is generated by the emergency record you easily create. And what that QR code, which is also on board, it's on phone, but also on board the watch, 
when it's scanned anywhere in the world, the emergency responder is going to access your emergency records with the life-threatening allergy you have, that medication list you are on, in the language of uh, the country that, where that paramedics emergency responder um, is uh, coming to your rescue. Uh, and today it's working in English, French, Spanish, Portuguese, and Mandarin Chinese. So where are we going now with a smartwatch? IoT is transforming our lives, so we have control of our environment at a distance, uh, on the top of a button. What if that smartwatch now? Let us be, as Jill say, uh, I think I tried to coin this, but we were on the same wavelength. Now, with a smartwatch, I can own my own health things. The smartwatch is geared to be very advanced with regard to physiological sensors. Uh, that communication feature is going to be in, um, um, increase, and uh, I think we are going to see cellular communication on board the watch, that GPS is already on some device, like the surge of Fitbit, on board the watch, and the computing uh, is more and more powerful. Now the apps are moving faster than the first version, for instance, in the, smart, in the watch for Apple, in the version 2.0, so we can compute, we can measure, we can alert, and we can guide patients and everyone on what to do next to stay safe and to be healthy. So that smartwatch, and uh, now, as you have seen here, launch uh, at CS, Fitbit is uh, uh, launching another interesting very watch, uh, the Blaze. Those smartwatch are transforming healthcare to keep us safe, to uh, be healthy, and to deliver that consumer part personalized medicine we are thriving for. So the life is exciting in healthcare IT, and mom, you were absolutely right. Thank you. <laughs>